Good afternoon, amigos, from Valle de Bravo. From what we understand, Valle de Bravo is kind of like the the upper class getaway yeah. from Mexico City, so we definitely don't fit in here. But Not quite. We're gonna check it out. First, we gotta find some food. Comida rápida. Okay, amigos, we have made it to Un Buffet right on the lake. Let me give you a view real quick. Mira, amigos. What are you doing? Even an appetizer. Now, uh, since we have a lot to explore, we're not really going to make this video about the food. That's what I have, by the way. So let's talk to La Huera and get her first, very first thoughts. Or maybe just a little background history on what this place is and why we're here. Like Greg said, we're in Valle de Bravo this weekend. And this is known to be a luxurious place where uh, wealthy people across Mexico, perhaps across the world, come for their yachts and vacation homes. And we've seen a lot of that, but the town is a lot more humble than I thought, which is awesome. So uh, Greg and I are able to fit in a little bit better. Um, we are here primarily for one reason, and that is because you guys voted for us to go see the butterflies. So uh, it's halfway between here and Toluca, and we thought, why not make a weekend of it, explore Valle de Bravo, because so many of you guys have recommended we come here, see what this luxury hotspot's all about. So um, our first impressions are it's a lot more humble and a lot more inviting and welcoming than we thought. Um, lots of paragliders, which I don't know if we're going to do this trip, but maybe one day, maybe. Food was good. Not great, but good. But now we have plenty of carbs, plenty of energy to explore this city. Vamos. Just finished the buffet. Uh, this town is called Valle de Bravo. And I believe Valle means like valley. But I'm pretty sure. Oh, gosh. So we must have been in the valley. Now we're not saying Bravo. Subiendo la montaña. Oh gosh. <laughs> city and this place is surprisingly quiet <laughs> except for the birds. The birds is the only thing we can hear here. <laughs> um, but for a town of 61,000 people it seems strangely quiet and peaceful. It so does. maybe this is why a good, it's a good vacation destination because it's it is muy tranquilo. <laughs> tranquilo. Tranquilo? Tranquilo. Tranquilo. Now we're gonna go check out La Iglesia. in the plaza. We're still trying to take in this city. I think uh, we definitely both expected, so the only things we really read online about this, about Valle de Bravo, was that it was like the luxury getaway, or the getaway spot for the upper class 
Chilangos, if you will. And so I think like that, we expected it to be not necessarily modern, but just like a little lujoso, a little fancy, a little, and it's definitely not, and that's not a bad thing. I think it's just we expected it to yeah. be fancy. And it really reminds me of uh, Puerto Vallarta a lot with the white buildings with the red paint on the side of uh -huh. it. Um, the, a little bit of Mascota. A little bit of Mascota. Like a small western feel a little bit. It does have a little western feel to it. It's definitely a small Cowboy town. Cats <laughs> coming at us. Are they? Oh yeah, yeah you're right. Um, yeah, so it's definitely not what we expected at all, but luckily we have several days here, so we'll kind of... Figure this out. <laughs> That just about concludes our very first time, our very first day in Valle de Bravo. There's a clown coming and she's scared of clowns. Um, I think that's all we have for you guys today, but we do have a very exciting few days coming up. We're gonna see the butterflies, we're gonna see lots of other cool things in and around Valle, so be sure to check out in the coming days uh, exploring this Pueblo Magico. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm trying to compete, <coughs> compete my vocal cords with that of the birds and it's a losing battle. <laughs> Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell, that way you get notified. Cada vez. We post a video and we'll see you guys. Manana. Adios. You wanna go get a balloon? No, no. Stop that.